this isn't uh, an easy task. And when I say this, I don't mean our broadcast. As far as we're concerned, it's easy. Yeah, I say that to my staff and they'll shoot me. But the point being, it's easy to bring you the latest in consumer electronics. Maybe not so easy to organize some 2,500 exhibitors, 330 first-time exhibitors, and a whole bunch of folks that attend the Consumer Electronics Show to show us media types the latest and greatest products. Well, the folks that are responsible for putting that together is, of course, the Consumer Electronics Association. And specifically, the guy at the helm of cracking that whip and making sure all the exhibitors are happy is the Vice President of Sales and Business Development for CEA, Dan Cole. Dan, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you, sir? I am doing great. Thanks, Dave. It's Good to see you. Happy New Year. And the same to you. A pleasure to have you with us because this is where it's happening. This is where it's at. Some 20,000 new products typically are introduced at CES every year. By far, the vast majority, unfortunately, don't even make it to market sometimes. But the prototypes, the ideas, they're all here. What a great networking opportunity it is, too, as I see your boss, Gary Shapiro, walk behind us waving. <laughs> the point being is that it takes a heck of a team, your team, to put this show together every year. Well, it's a remarkable group of people, but it is a labor of love, and, and it is for a remarkable industry that I'm very, very proud to be a part of. And, of course, as we record these interviews here, this is at CES Unveiled, the That's official right. press event, which takes place the night before press day which takes place the day before <laughs> the Consumer Electronics Show actually begins. And then it's four days of craziness and mass mayhem, but a lot of excitement talking about all the coolest new gadgets and gizmos everybody wants. Right. We, we uh, uh, launched Unveiled some five or six years ago. I remember our inaugural uh, broadcast here with you. And this is just a, an excellent opportunity to get out in front from a press coverage standpoint for our exhibitors to spend some time with the press on an individual basis and a, and a, uh, uh, a true, a great opportunity to be in front of people. So True, and, and it really gives, as far as the various exhibitors that are here in attendance at Unveiled, that, uh, that important time with us media, if I may be so, so bold, so that they've got face time with right, us. They have right. an ability to say, we're not talking to buyers or other folks that are in the industry. That's what the show floor is for and all that networking, right. and that's perfect. But right now, it's important to get word out to us so that we can get word out about their cool new products no. early on. And that's what I meant to, to say before, actually. I was so lost for words. Well, not, no, you, you were kind of leading it's, me in that path. It's a very exclusive opportunity for exhibitors to be together with the press. A couple days before the show, the show gets very, very, very busy. So for... Uh, for exhibitors who want to get out in front and have an exclusive opportunity to be in front of the press, there's no better opportunity than Unveiled. For sure, and more and more taking advantage of it. I've seen this show grow dramatically. Busting at the seams, yes. Yeah, and, and since the first year, and fortunately we've been here every year since the beginning, which is really cool, we've watched it grow, and I think what's really cool is it's kudos to you and your team because people are realizing this is where we need to get to us media types and let us show off our new stuff and let's see what reactions right, are right. and what... what when we see something we're impressed with, we got to tell our audience. It's a real good barometer, at least what I've seen every year, of how the show is going to go in a couple of days. The excitement here is at a fever pitch, and so I'm feeling very, very excited about the show coming up, and I, I think you're seeing that indicative out in the show floor, oh, on the sure. Unveiled show floor right now. Now, you guys are doing some very cool new things here at CES. Of course, every year you introduce something new, something right. cool. Tech Zones. Uh, have been expanded dramatically yes. this year. Tell me about some of them. For example, one of the things that I think is pretty cool, you have a whole zone dedicated to all things I. Yes. As in iPhone and iPod and right. I everything else. Well, we, we saw an opportunity for companies that have anything to do with the iPhone or iPod or Mac products. So we announced something called iLounge. We floored about 4,000 square feet for any company that was involved in that space. Well, that took off. This was around the February time period. We exploded into 25,000 square feet of exhibit space. These are companies that either manufacture products or accessories that have to do with the iPhone, uh, the iPod, or uh, Mac product or accessories as, as well. So the iLounge is doing real well. Tech Zones, another word for them is pavilions. So these are product pavilions, and, and it gives companies the opportunity who are launching products or launching new technologies to have a prime spot at the show. Um, in a very, very dedicated area. So some of the new tech zones this year, we're going to be uh, focusing on e-books, which if you read the news and oh, you yourself, yeah. obviously this is a very, very hot topic. On netbooks themselves, 3D, just behind me, we have a display on, 
on 3D that's uh, taking place right now, but on the show floor, that's a hot area as well. In we fact, amazingly enough, they're showing scenes from Avatar. Yes. Go, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, we also have an area called Mommy Tech, which is a tech zone. This is uh, on technology for working and stay-at-home stay moms, too. Uh, digital health, all sorts of new product pavilions that we call tech zones that are peppered uh, amongst the the other exhibitors on the show floor. And Silver Summit, right, is another Silver tech Summit zone is yet, yet another one. That's for, exactly for right. For some of the older folks for the baby uh, in boomers. our audience. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. That's right. Uh, you and I are getting there. We're getting there. <clears throat> yeah. So we need to pay a little more attention to the Silver Summit uh, exactly. as, as we progress into tomorrow. But what's very cool is that we've got three weeks' worth of shows ahead of us here, all from CES that we're recording this week talking to so many cool exhibitors, so many people that are showing some great product, and we certainly hope that they all are successful, but that's really up to us consumers. Are we interested? Are they, are they serving a niche purpose? Are they going to make us more productive, allow us to have more fun, whatever the case is? It's up to us consumers to not only support the industry, but take advantage of all these technologies. Well, you see every year, Dave, the products get even more fun and exciting and productive, and I think this year is going to be uh, no different. So I think consumers are going to be very excited to adopt some of the new technologies and products that, that uh, the press is going to cover mm -hmm. here at Unveiled and at the show. Well, Dan Cole, thank you for not only allowing us into your show and into this Unveiled event, which uh, the excitement continues to build, but also for putting together such a good uh, show and a good opportunity for folks to, to tell us and show us their wares. Well, it's always an honor to have you here, Dave, and to appear on your show. Well, thank you, so. sir. We're back with more. You want to visit, of course, cesweb.org for all kinds of cool information. Everything CES is at cesweb.org and ce.org is the main website for the Consumer Electronics Association. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline. This, the Advanced Media Network.